In this video, we'll talk about the multinomial distribution, including random vectors and the multivariate hypergeometric distribution. So, what's a random vector? It's basically a bunch of random variables stacked into a vector. So x is an n-dimensional random vector here, and we'll see why these are useful later. So we define the expectation of a random vector just as you would hope, coordinate-wise. So the expectation of the random vector x, each element is just the expectation of some xi. Okay, so now let's suppose that there are three outcomes with probabilities p1, p2, and p3 that add up to one. So suppose you have seven independent trials and let y be the random vector of counts of each outcome. For example, let's say that the first trial produces outcome one, the second one produces outcome three, outcome three, outcome two, and so on. So if you add up the counts of each outcome, you get that outcome one occurred two times, outcome two occurred one time, and outcome three occurred four times. So what is the probability that we produce these counts? Well, we can start off by saying, okay, because outcome one occurred twice, so therefore we have probability of outcome one to the power two, then we have probability of outcome two to power one, and then probability of outcome three to the four. Okay, but there are many ways to produce these counts. For example, this sequence might be encoded as first outcome one, then outcome three, outcome three, etc. But this is a string, but there are other ways to get the same counts. How many ways? Well, that's the same as the number of ways to arrange the string. So you might recall, well, there are seven factorial arrangements in total, but then because there are two ones and swapping the ones does not change the sequence, and there are four threes, swapping those doesn't change the sequence. So you have to divide by two factorial and four factorial. So you can also write this equation using a multinomial coefficient like this. Anyway, so in general, suppose that there are outcomes with these probabilities that add up to one. Suppose that you have n independent trials and let y be the random vector of counts of each outcome. Then y is distributed with a multinomial with parameters n and p. The PMF of y is this ugly thing, but it's actually not so bad. So basically what this is saying is that you have the, for each outcome, take the product over all the outcomes of the probability of outcome i raised to the power of ki, which is the number of times that outcome occurred. And then this multinomial coefficient just says, how many ways are there to rearrange the outcomes that still produce the same counts? So notice that all the counts are, have to be non-negative and the number, the total sum of the counts should be n, which is the total number of trials. So notice that each yi is marginally binomial because either for each outcome, either it occurs or it does not occur. So you have success or failure. So the expectation and variance of each yi is just the same as the binomial. Okay, and then expectation of the vector is like this and variance. And notice that the covariance is actually negative. And that makes sense because as yi increases, the number of times that outcome i occurs increases, then the number of times that outcome j occurs probably will decrease because outcome i and j cannot occur at the same time. Okay, so now let's talk about the multivariate hypergeometric. So suppose that there are three political parties and you have 100 senators, like 45 Green Party members, 20 Democrats, and 35 Republicans. You want to choose a committee of 10 senators. So let's let y be the number of each party's members in the committee. So what's the probability that in the committee we have one Green Party member, six Democrats, and three Republicans? Well, there's 100 choose 10 total committees because there's 100 senators, you need to choose 10 to be in the committee. Okay, how many ways are there to choose each party's members? Well, there's 45 Green Party members and you need to choose one. Then there's 20 Democrats, you need to choose six. And there's 35 Republicans, choose three. So that's the total probability of getting this vector of counts in the committee. So in general, if you have R different colors of balls in a bag and you have big K balls of each color, uh, or sorry, big KI balls of each color, then if you let big N be the total number of balls in the bag, and you suppose you draw a little N without replacement, then we let Y be the random vector such that YI is the number of balls of the color I that we drew. So now Y has a multivariate hypergeometric distribution. The joint PMF of Y can be written like this. And notice that this is basically the same as what we did. So on the bottom, the sample space is the total number of sets of little N balls out of the total number of big N balls in the bag. So it's a number of sets of size little n. And then for each color, you have big ki balls of that color, and you need to choose little ki balls to match the requirement. And these requirements are again the same. So all the little ki's are in the range from zero to the total number of balls of the color. And notice that each yi is marginally hypergeometric because uh, you can just consider like balls of the color or not of the color. So therefore, this is the expectation. And the expectation of the vector is just the, sorry, the expectation of y is just the vector of the expectations of the yi's. Thank you.